Welcome to the Garpenbari mine, Sweden's oldest working mine. People have been mining metals here since the 1300s. Since 1957, the mine has been part of the Borleden Group, one of Europe's leading companies in zinc and copper. At Borleden, we work with the first steps in the value chain. Finding the ore, producing concentrate, smelting and refining, and an all more important part, recycling. Our primary metals are copper and zinc, but we also produce lead, silver and gold. Important metals that make modern life work. And for coming generations, our work is focused on environment and sustainability. The Garpinbari mine is a safe workplace and we're proud of that. It's important for us that all workers and entrepreneurs feel safe and secure here. And of course, that goes for you, our visitors, as well. Before you visit the mine, you need to know about our rules for safety and order. All visitors must wear a helmet with chin strap, protective glasses, hearing protection, a head torch, a miner's belt, reflective clothing or a reflective vest, gloves, and boots with steel toes and protective soles. Although it might sound dangerous to visit our mine, it really isn't. The mine is just as safe as any other workplace in heavy industry. The rock is secure and reinforced. But many places in the mine are not well lit and the floor and walls can be both wet and jagged. As a visitor, it is important you follow your guide's instructions. Should something unforeseen occur, your guide is specially trained to take care of the situation. The mine is equipped with a security system called TunnelCom. It is mandatory that all who go into the mine carry a visitor's badge. The security system is a great help in case of an evacuation. In addition to the lift down to the mine, one can travel by car or other vehicle via an underground road called a ramp. Just as on roads above ground, seat belts are required at all times. The vehicles are equipped with protection masks called rescue masks for use in case of fire. As a visitor, when you find yourself near a production machine at work, it's important that you do not go in front of the guide and that you follow his or her instructions. Should something unforeseen occur and evacuation is not possible, we have both permanent and mobile emergency chambers for shelter, equipped with clean air, water and telephone. Mobile emergency shelters are placed in the immediate vicinity of production areas. Here at the concentrator, we remove about 85% of all waste rock to leave us with 15% of ore concentrate, our final product, which then go to the smelter. Visitors here need to have approximately the same protective equipment as in the mine. A helmet with chin strap, safety glasses, hearing protection, high visibility clothing and boots with steel toes. This sound level in here can be very high, so stay close to your guide and follow all instructions. Be careful where you place your feet when you walk. It can be very slippery in certain places. Hold on to the handrail when you use the stairs. Keep your mobile telephone in your pocket. Dropping objects from great heights can cause a lot of damage. We care for our environment and therefore ask that you as our guest will follow our rules regarding waste and our guidelines concerning chemicals. Special environmental stations are available, so please ask your guide for help. Of course, we want to remain one of our country's safest work sites. Even though we work underground in a mine where we use large heavy machines and carry out blasting. Preparations for blasting are entirely risk-free for you as a visitor. Blasting is carried out in conjunction with shift changes. The blast leader is responsible to see that all have left the mine well before blasting.
Before the mine can be re-entered, the blast leader has to sound the all clear. Relevant blasting times are posted on bulletin boards. Safety is extremely important. OK, this signals the start of your visit. You can feel safe. Welcome to an exciting visit in the Gapinbari Mine.